We're using 3D printers and the concept of 3D printers, but we're using living human cells. So it's 3D printing, but it's kind of on a microscopic level. So it, you know, when you watch it, it's not as exciting as the, you know, the big ones where you can really see what's happening. I, we're printing multiple layers, but you know, cells are on the order of microns, so you don't really uh, see that we're stacking them on top of each other. And the intent is to use these living cells. Um, in our case, our first product is for breast reconstruction. Yeah. And um, so we would take samples of skin and fat from women and use that to rebuild. Because when you do a tattoo, um, you, you still don't have a, a bump. Um, and so if today the procedure is, if you want that uh, bump so you have a little bit of a texture, a plastic surgeon makes incisions and then kind of stitches it up and creates that. And then three months later, you can go in and do the tattoo. Uh, the challenge in both those cases is that, you know, the tattoos are not like what we think of, you know, mom, and you're gonna have it till you're 110. Um, but that's because those are really dark inks. The inks that you use on a breast are pale pink, you know, very light tan. And they, and they really don't last but for a couple of years. Uh, so one of the advantages that we have is it, it would be a more permanent situation. Uh, you would have uh, the bump as well as the coloring of your skin uh, and while we don't know for sure that it's going to be permanent, we think it'll last much, much longer. To some degree it's almost, uh, I, I get a little taken aback because you know people come up to me and, and they tell me things like you're you're a hero, you know, you're 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 changing the world. You're, you're what you're doing is so important, and we really need you to be successful. Um, and I guess I didn't expect that, <laughs> you know. I'm like, well, I'm trying to bring a product. It's solving um, it's solving a problem, but the problem is very very personal, uh, and so I think it it creates a very emotional response. Um, from people when when they think about it. Uh, I mean, I get contacted with people today, you know, like, how do I sign up for clinical trials? You know, when is this going to be ready? You know, I'm, I, I need this now. I need to, you know, I had it done before and it's gone and I'm ready for a more permanent solution. So that's very exciting to get that sort of um, validation of the work yeah. we're doing. I spent my career in technology and in business and technology is very, you know, it's computers, it's software, it's it's there's not a lot of emotion, you know, and so working, uh, and even what we're doing, the 3D printing, it's very technology oriented, you know, and, and the biology and things like that's very sciencey, uh, which is kind of just what I'm used to in business. And so then having this very personal, emotional side um, integrated with work was different, you know, uh, it's, it's really a beautiful thing, to be honest with you. Uh, and in a startup, it's what keeps you going, because you know sometimes you just think, oh, I can't do this. But you know, then I'll hear a story. You know, a woman will tell me what she's been through and why something like this is needed, and I think, okay, I can keep doing this. It's not really that hard. What they did, what they've gone through, was hard.